Theatre this week began with presenting her animation pictures online to the whole year. Of healing, taking a lot of inspiration from inner child work in psychology, and this accounts for the child in all of us. That my heart was pounding so fast, but thankfully I managed to articulate all my points, so thumbs up to that. I try to do a workout at least three times a week and cycle around. This is the time for me to blast out music and de-stress. My housemate and I then grabbed some food by the beach. Coming from London, I used to feel so restless because Bournemouth was such a small town. Lockdown, however, really taught me how to practice appreciating the small joys in my life. Now I affirm how grateful I am for having my own space and living so close to the sea. We then went to the supermarket to do our weekly shop. Every morning and night, I like to cleanse my space by opening the window and lighting an incense or a candle. I do five minutes of breath work, inhaling for 10 seconds and exhaling also for 10 seconds. I follow this up with a 10 minute meditation, an opportunity to express my gratitude, affirmations or manifestations to the universe. It is a time for me to pray and be still. I also like to journal afterwards to script down things that may have come to me during the meditation or to reaffirm my intentions and goals. I am learning to commit to these practices not only when it is all love and light, but most importantly when I find myself feeling sad or anxious. I've been practicing how to self-soothe and validate all my emotional experiences like a nurturing parent to their scared child. I'm able to live more in trust and love for myself. On Wednesday, some course mates and I drove to our nearest national park to do some environment studies. We did everything but that, which is hilarious. Mate, look how dense. <laughs> Instead, we had a picnic, bought some healing crystals, played with Margot the dog, and stared in awe at the trees, wild horses and deers. We ended the day with McDonald's overlooking a beautiful view. On Friday morning, I went for a cycle by the beach. My love language is quality time, so carving out time to be with myself has become so healing and empowering. Enjoying the video so far. The weather in the UK has been 
pretty fucking good. It's been helping to elevate my mood, which I'm really grateful for. I rewatched the last video that I had posted. It was like May 2020 and it's crazy just how much I've grown since that lockdown period. In this healing journey that I am on right now, I am being much more intentional with the way I show up for myself. This looks like, to me, spending more time in nature, connecting with friends, staying alone, being present with how I feel and honouring all my emotional experiences, whether I'm happy or sad. As of right now, I just want to enjoy my life, enjoy what's left of this uni term, embrace that main character energy, doing whatever the fuck I want and what brings me joy. I just have so much humility and gratitude for everything, lessons and blessings that the universe has given to me during this difficult but beautiful period. about the life I want by embodying the person I want to be now. I take care of my mental, physical and spiritual health. I take care of myself so that I can take care of others too. I trust you universe. I embrace all the new opportunities and lessons on my way. I claim love, confidence, discipline, peace, truth, creativity, strength and trust. <laughs>